Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-August readings for all the zodiac signs. Like I always say, these are general readings, take what applies, if it applies, and you know what to do with the rest of it. A big thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, then welcome, and make sure you hit the subscribe button, little bell icon, um, to get all the notifications for when I put the new stuff out there. If you are returning, thanks for sticking it out with me. Um, also, every Wednesday I go live. Uh, I have a great bunch of peeps that uh, come 7 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, and uh, we do a look at it all Zodiac signs as well as a random reading and a whole bunch of chit-chatting in between. So... Come be a part of it, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, right here on the station. So, mid-readings I do by the elements. So, this one's going to be for water, which would be uh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And I got, I feel we should start off with Scorpio. So, I use a different deck. Thank you the X sign. And this deck is going to be the Spellcasters. Oops. So let's see. What is popping with Scorpio mid-August 2021? Energy around Scorpio. Hmm. Somebody could be letting their guard down. You have the Nine of Wands, but in the reverse. Maybe somebody's a little bit more at ease. And remember, this could be the energy coming, you know, towards you, the energy coming from you. Friendship, partnership, love, trip, career, family, however it applies. Oh, we get the Empress now. Queen of all queens there. That's a great support unit, the great ride or die. Sometimes it means pregnancy. Sometimes she's birthing an idea or bring it into a reality. Hmm. Wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, Scopes. So, something might be getting a little heavy, a little hard, like swimming against the tide, maybe. Because when it's in the upright, in the wheel, you're going up the wheel, things start falling into place, you know, seem to go your way. So when you're on the downside of the wheel, you know, it could be karma coming back around, things just not going as planned. And then you have the Knight of Cups. This be, could be coming from you or another water sign like Pisces, like Cancer. But coming back around, and someone's put their guard down. Somebody is a great support unit. Hmm. Now you get the ma magician in reverse. I don't like this, Scorps. Magician is a very powerful card. You know, he can manifest just about anything. Law of attraction, affirmations. But when he's in the reverse, it's like going out of their way to hinder somebody else's pro you know, process. Like put up barriers or roadblocks. It makes something harder than it has to be. And I feel like somebody might go out of their way to do this. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. Whoops. It's upside down. Look at the Ace of Pentacles, Scopes. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is this universe giving you this opportunity, whether you take it or not, for maybe to see here, taste, touch, prove things, you know, money. But also, it's the things that money can't buy. Love, respect, loyalty, honesty. But an opportunity to obtain these things. Now, this could be a promotion, a new job, you know, side hustle that brings in a little extra coin. But I'm kind of feeling, Scopes, that maybe this is, you know, a life lesson that you get something valuable out of it. And you take that and 
you know, go on your journey. Hmm. So something here does have worth and value, whether it is, you know, material or the lesson. Hmm. Because somebody might be letting their guard down. The Nine of Wands is kind of like, they say, a warrior spirit. Nine's being close to a ten, you know, been in the battle for a while, but don't give up. Now, some people might say it might be a little bit of paranoia. Because there's nobody else in the picture. I mean, who's she fighting? But in the reverse, you know, this is kind of like easing up a little bit. Letting your guard down. And then you have the Empress. Usually depicted as Libra Taurus energy. Doesn't have to be. That great ride or die. Support unit. She's known for her kindness. But never take her kindness as a weakness. She will show you what's up. Never take it as a weakness. And something's coming back around. You know, it could be karma. Maybe this is unfinished business, something left unsaid, undone. And why do I want to say maybe somebody didn't get their turn of speaking or expressing themselves? And this could be a chance. Because when it comes in, Scoops, whether it's coming from you or towards you, you know, this is something that comes straight from the heart. You know, I mean, this is something sentimental. Could be a compliment, could be an apology, could be getting asked out or invited. But there's no smoke and mirrors about this, Scopes. I mean, whatever this proposal is or apology is, what have you, because it will be different for all Scopios. Okay? They're not messing around or playing with it. My cue. But maybe it's the way they go about it. You know, the magician in the reverse. Manifesting for the wrong reasons. Or making something harder than it has to be. And then opportunity to have something. So Scorpio, something can come back around. It might seem very familiar to you. You've been down that road. You've been in that situation before. Now, remember, this could be, you know, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, however it applies. But you being the empress here, you know, you've been there, you've done that. She's just not a queen. She's queen of all queens. You know, and she is that great support unit and that ride or die. She's got you even when you're not there, she's got you. So maybe somebody here misses that kind of support. And they come back around to see if they can get it again. And like I said, it might seem familiar here, Scorpio, you know, because so, you put your defenses down a little bit. I am going to clarify the magician in reverse. Who is manifesting for the wrong reasons here? get the fortress somebody is very well guarded could be their heart or whatnot now you got the Empress again being very you know guarded but maybe you know you get that poker face going on scopes because she's called a spear here she's not playing You could come off a bond. Hmm. So, Scorpio, maybe somebody's coming back around. Friendship. Or partnership. Or some sort of relationship. Could even be family. But you've come a long way. You've overcome a lot of things, Scorpio. You have risen above. And maybe the lack of your presence 
you know, or your support. Got somebody thinking that maybe they don't want to, they don't want to do without it. But you're guarded. You might be playing it off. Cool as a cucumber. You know, looks like you put your defenses down, you're approachable. Let's go be your own empress. This goes the way you want it to go. And not the other way around. Smarter. Wiser. So if someone wants to come back around. You know. Maybe you're part of the solution. Not part of the problem. And maybe they get it now. Scopes. So an offer is made. You know, maybe they go about it the wrong way. You know, they get in touch with a friend or message you or text you instead of doing something face-to-face. -face. But that's all right. You got this. Unscathed. So let it work their magic. Do they know they're dealing with an empress? Wow, scopes. I would love to hear some reactions on that one. <laughs> Be interesting. Okay, so let's go on to Cancer. Let's see what's popping for Cancer. I'm going to use the Cancer Robot deck. So Cancer, what is crackalacking in the middle of August? Setting off with a thief here, Cancer. Now, that can mean a few things. That can be somebody who uh, just disappears out of the blue, never says bye. This could be somebody who spreads your biz from camp to camp while smiling right at your face. Remember, they got seven swords to throw on your back. Somebody can steal, you know, physical things, steal your work. You get the moon. Hmm. Now the moon hides things. Lies, secrets, deception. It could be about heightened intuition. In Cancer, you being a water sign, you're naturally intuitive. It's like you feel it. You pick up on it. Now somebody could be, you know, doing stuff on the DL. Shady things. Maybe they do it by moonlight. Maybe they just all of a sudden disappear for a few hours and they don't explain themselves. They don't say why. It's like a absence of time. And they're not trying to bring a lot of attention to themselves. You get the three of pentacles in the reverse. This is being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Being recognized for that great person that you are. Or if this is the energy you're dealing with. But, you know, they just want to be another face in the crowd. And now you have the star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarian. You know, universe hears you, guides with you. This could be divine intervention. Things going on behind the scenes. A wish being granted. Hmm. Things going on behind the scenes. Hmm. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. I'm kind of thinking, can't say, maybe somebody's very smug. You know, they think they can get away with anything. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> get the High Priestess. Keeper of Secrets. Did she tell anyone? Maybe one time's right. I mean, she feels like it. Never underestimate the High Priestess. She always knows a lot more than what she says. So, Cancer, maybe you know about somebody's doing something on the DL. And they're very mysterious. Well, they want to come off like that. They don't want, you know, to be have the 
light sh shined on. <laughs> I'm gonna think of, you know, being interrogated. No, 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 no. Go to someone else. <laughs> but they don't want to be in the limelight. It's like being in the background. But something's coming for this person, Cancer. Whether this is your energy you're putting out there, the energy that you're dealing with. Maybe it's your wish that's going to get granted that this person learns their lesson. You want to be sneaking around? You get caught. But whatever this is, it's, you know, it's disappointing. Maybe even heartbreaking. But again, with the moon... And the high priestess here, you know, that's, to me, that's like heightened intuition, big time. And maybe you don't say anything, Cancer. You, them, them, you. But you know, you just know, this person thinks they can get away with anything. Is not going to get away with anything. Hide it, cover it up, lie. All comes out in the wash. And them trying to stay incognito. I kind of think cancer, it's like, you know, you know you're right. You know you're right. You're hoping to be wrong. But cancer, you're right. So, good luck, cancer. And always trust your intuition. Always. If you think something's up, then <laughs> something's up. Don't be dissuaded by any means. Okay. Going on to Pisces. And for Pisces, I am going to use Grinlocks. These cards are slightly bigger. <laughs> slightly. All right, Pisces. Mid-August energy for Pisces. Highest message to the highest good for the sign of Pisces. Mid-August. Ooh, wasting no time. We got some spying going on. Page of Swords here. You know, anytime that I see this card, I always think, you know, internet. Maybe somebody's checking out somebody's social media. You know, trying to find out what's going on, where they at. And remember, this could be the energy you're putting out there, or yeah, you're coming to a gym, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family. But it also could be, you know, getting on the internet and gathering info. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm going to say this. You know, background check. Make sure somebody's legit. Pisces. Hmm. Now, you got the Knight of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or... Somebody who takes on these properties. Now, he's the fastest one of all of them. And he comes in with his sword. And gives the brutal, honest truth. I always feel like it's an agitated energy. Someone's going to be the first one to tell you something before you hear it from somebody else. Pisces. And this might, you know make you a little bit more reserved here, Pisces, because now you get the Knight of Cups. He came in reverse. Now, this is a messenger of something heartfelt, something sentimental. Apology could be being asked out or, you know, saying something sincere and meaning it. Mm -hmm. But it's almost, you know, Pisces, like, something comes in, news comes in, and before... You know, you say anything emotional or anything straight from your heart. It's almost like you, you reserve yourself when this comes in. And maybe that's why the Page of Swords is here. Because, you know, maybe you hear someone, someone directly comes in and tells you something. And before you react, you find out. Or you get on the internet or you do whatever you have to do to see if, you know, how much worth something has behind it. Now you get the strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. But this is about inner strength. Having the courage, having the guts, you know, to persevere through anything. 
even, you know, sudden news that might take you back a little bit. You know, it might take your inner lion, you know what I mean, not to react or get emotional. And now we have the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Interesting, Pisces. This is, a, you know, ride unicorns. Emotional fulfillment at its finest. Ten full cups. Interesting, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have nostalgia. Fondly thinking about the past. You know, certain scenarios, maybe when, you know, you were a kid. Or if you have kids, it could be about kids. But these are fond memories. Hmm. Interesting, Pisces. So I do believe that before you react to something, you are going to get your info. Because, Pisces, you have the courage, you have the guts to go digging. You know, you're not going to come unraveled. You're not going to get emotional. You're going to stay composed. And before you offer, you know, your sympathies, your compassion, your time, your energy, you want to know what's up first. If what you're hearing has any worth or truth to it. I think that's going to take guts. You know, to get the real truth. The honest truth. And when you do that, Pisces, that, you know, you don't let somebody who comes darting in real quick blat something out. No. You keep it together. Because you won't be swayed. Now, in your mind, you could be going, you know, back crazy. But that's okay. Because you get that poker face going on. You're not going to give him a reaction. Good or bad. Because you're going to persevere through something here. Whether you're watching a situation, person, however, applies, or they're watching you, waiting for your next move. I'm kind of thinking, it's not for all Pisces, but maybe for some, this might be like poking the bear. They come in real quick and say something, and maybe their words aren't, you know, they could have been chosen better, but they come in, and again, you're unscathed. I'm not going to get a rise out of you, Pisces. Instead, you got the guts to go after the truth, find the truth. But when you do, Pisces, when you do... You'll be riding unicorns. Something might be too good to be true. And all of a sudden it is. And it could be something from the past. It could be a past situation. It doesn't always have to be a person. You know, sometimes things didn't work out in the past, but you take a second go at something, and somebody's going to try to <clears throat> bring rain on your parade. <laughs> Not this time. And that's only an example. Once you persevere and keep those emotions in check and not come unraveled, and you go forward and you do your homework, Pisces, there is something pretty good waiting for you. Nice. So that is what I have for all the water signs. Uh, please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays to come join me and my crew at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So until then, take care.